Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I have a hat tutorial for you. Um, so this is a relatively easy hat. So it's top down, started with the basic um, double crochet crown, which is not my favorite crown to use, but sometimes I do use it. Um, and then we add this, you see these three rows of flat, flat ribbing, that is the camel stitch. Very, it's very, it's easy to do. And then I have one more ribbing here that's bumped up beyond taller than a camel stitch. Um, and then I did some rows of, a couple rows of double crochet to kind of tie in with that uh, crown there. And then I repeated the uh, camel stitch in our, uh, this is actually a single crochet, uh, front post, or back post single crochet to make that pop up a bit. And then the brim, I just did two rows of single crochet. I do talk about how you can do no rows or 10 rows if you want it to be like a saw to you or something the brim part is you can you know make it as big as you want um now this will fit probably let me lay it out here a 19 to 22 inch head and it is suitable for a man or a woman it is gender neutral let me go ahead and take a measurement here um mine's going about seven and three quarters I like mine to lay, you see my picture, I like mine to lay a little bit lower on the head. But remember, you can leave off uh, some of these single crochet rows, or if you want it more slouchy, you can add more. Like I said, it is relatively easy to do. Do you guys want to go ahead and get started on it? Let's do it. All right. So, this uh, particular hat is designed, I designed this for a three-weight yarn. So, you have to use a three-weight yarn on it, or a DK. DK stands for double knit, which is the same thing as a three weight yarn. So the yarn that I'm using here is actually a hand dyed uh, merino nylon blend um, and it's sparkly. It's got Stellina in it. So this was dyed by the Full Spectrum Yarn Company, uh, my friend Thris and Stitches. That's her company. She has a YouTube channel. If you haven't checked her out, please do. She dyes a beautiful yarn and she has the company. So if you, if you want uh, dyed yarn check her out um she dyed this one in likeness of my daughter rose so that is the name of it i believe is called every rose um it's a 100 gram hank and there's 231 yards of a three weight and i'm going to just say that you're going to need about 200 yards to finish this hat of a three weight yarn in that unless of course you want to make it slouchy and add more rows to the brim of course you'll need more yarn than that otherwise 200 over three weight should do it and then we're going to be using a size h which is a five millimeter crochet hook let's go ahead and get started all right let's go ahead and get started we're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook okay work you're working at the top of the hat and working down so we're going to start with a chain of four now if you prefer to use a magic circle here that's fine um, I'm going to do the chain of four and then I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring I put my middle finger in between the uh, hook and the chain and I go ahead and do my slip stitch and then I'm going to chain one now that chain one does not count as a stitch now I'm gonna crochet this tail in as I go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work 12 double crochets through the center of this ring that we just made crocheting that tail in as we go so we're gonna yarn over Go through the center of the ring and draw up a loop and then do our double crochet as normal. So that would be one double crochet right there because remember that chain one does not count as a stitch. So again yarn over, go through the center of the ring, draw up a loop and then do your double crochet as normal. That's two. That's three, that's four, 
and you can see I'm bringing my tail along with me and so I'm going to continue around until I get a total of 12 double crochets. All right so I have a total of 12 double crochets so you want to take your tail and you want to go ahead and, and give it a tug. Should close up that circle most of the way and then what we're going to do is slip stitch into our first double crochet here not the chain one but the first double crochet and that will end row one and you'll have 12 double crochets so i'm working a basic uh double crochet crown for this hat it's not my favorite but i think it works best for this particular uh design so i'm going to chain one which does not count as a stitch and we're going to work right back into that stitch there that we just slip stitched into and we're going to work two double crochets into it so there's one and there's two now we're going to work around and we're going to put two double crochets into every stitch all the way around so I'm putting two into my next one. I'm going to jump to my next stitch and I'm going to put two into that one. Two into the next. And I'm going to repeat this pattern of two double crochets in every stitch until I make it back around to the end of round two. All right, so I come to the end of round two. After putting two double crochets in every stitch, you should have a total of 24 stitches now. So we're going to go ahead and end round two by slip stitching into our first double crochet. Just like that. And now we're going to start round three. So we're going to chain one, which again does not count as a stitch. We're going to work right back here where we just slip stitched into. And we're going to work one double crochet into that stitch. Now the next stitch is going to get two double crochets into the same stitch. And this is going to be the repeat for round three. One double crochet into the next stitch. And then two double crochets into the next. one double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochets into the next so we're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way around one double two double one double two double all the way around until we make it to the end of round three all right so it's okay if it's flipping up and stuff don't worry about that that's normal we'll fix it later all right, so at the end of round three, your last stitch, you should have ended with two double crochets into it, and you should have a total of 36 stitches now. So now we're gonna go ahead and end round three by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And now we're gonna start round four with a chain one. That does not count as a stitch. Now we're gonna put a double crochet into the first two stitches. So the first one goes right here where we just slip stitched. So we can put one double crochet into it. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. And then the next stitch is going to get two doubles into the same stitch. Just like that. And that will be the repeat for round four. One double crochet in each of the next two stitches. There's one. And then one in the next. And then two doubles into the next. Again, one double crochet in each of the next two. So there's one. And then the next one. Another one. And then the next stitch gets two doubles into the same stitch. So this is what we're going to repeat for round four. One double, one double, two doubles. One double, one double, two doubles, all the way around until we get back to, till we get to the end of round four. 
All right, so I've made it to the end of round four. And again, you should have ended with two double crochets in your last stitch. And now you should have a total of 48 stitches. Let's go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And we'll start round five with a chain of one, which does not count as a stitch. So now we're going to do a double crochet into the uh, first three stitches. Starting with this very first one that we just slip stitched into. So go ahead and double crochet into it. There's one. Go to the next one. There's two. And then the next one is three. And then the next stitch we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. There's one. And there's two. And that will be the repeat for round five. So again, one double crochet into the next three stitches. So there's one. Two. And there's three. And then the next one will get two doubles into the same stitch. And this is what we're going to repeat all the way around for round five. One double into the next three. There's one, two, three, and two doubles into the next. So I'm going to continue repeating this until I make it back around to the end of round five. Alrighty, so I made it to the end of round five and again you should have ended with two double crochets on your last stitch you should have a total of 60 stitches now Let's go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet And we're going to begin round six with the chain one that does not count as a stitch Now we're going to do a double crochet into the next four stitches Starting with the very first one going right here where we just slip stitched So there's one, two, three, and there's four. And then the next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. So there's one, and then back again into the same one is two. And that is the repeat for round six. One double crochet into the next four. There's one, two, three, four, and then the next stitch will get two double crochets into the next. All right, and this is going to be our repeat for round six. One double crochet in the next four, and then two doubles into the next. Repeat that all the way around, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of round six. All right, so I come to the end of round six, and now you should have 72 stitches. And you should have ended again with two double crochets that are in your last stitch. Slip stitch into your first double crochet, and we'll begin round seven with a chain one. That does not count as a stitch. Um, this time we're going to do one double crochet into the first five. First one going right here where we just slip stitched. So there's one, two, three, there's four, and there's five. And then the next stitch will get two double crochets into the same stitch. There's one, back into the same one again, and that's two. And that's the repeat now for round seven. One double into the next five. There's one, two, three, four, And there's five. And then two double crochets into the next. So there's one, go back into it again. 
and there's two. So we're going to repeat that pattern of five doubles in a row and then two doubles into the next all the way around until we get to the end of row seven. All right, so I've made it to the end of round seven. And again, you should enter with two double crochets in your last stitch. And now we should have a total of 84 stitches. So we'll go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And go ahead and pull your yarn up a bit. We're going to take a little bit of a measurement of the crown. So kind of flatten it out a little bit. So <clears throat> for the size that I do between 19 and 22 inch, a uh, circumference of a head, I generally shoot for six to six and three quarters inch crown. There we go. Yeah. It's a little bit over six and three quarter, but that is going to work. It'll be just fine. All right, so we're not going to be increasing anymore. So 84 stitches. That's our magic number, all right? So that's what we're going to work with now so we're going to start round um, eight and we're going to chain one and we're going to go back into the same stitch and do a double crochet now for round eight we're just going to work one double crochet in every single stitch all the way around no more uh, putting two double crochets in the same stitch or anything. It's just straight up one double crochet in every single stitch. And when you make it back around, you still should have a total of 84 stitches at the end of round eight. So I'm going to continue along and I will meet back up with you when I make it to the end. All right, so I come to the end of round eight and I have my 84 stitches. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and slip stitch into my first double crochet, just like that. Now we're gonna start round nine. Round nine, we're going to chain one. And now we're gonna be working a half double crochet. And we're gonna put one right back into the very first stitch. And we're going to work around and we're going to put one half double crochet in every single stitch all the way around. So this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is round nine. Round nine is one half double in every stitch until we make it back around to our starting point. When you make it back around, you still should have 84 stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on working one half double crochet in every stitch and I will meet back up with you right here at the end of round nine. All right, so I've made it to the end of round nine, 84 stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first half double crochet. Now we're going to start round 10. And round 10, we're going to be working half double crochets, but we're going to be working them in the third loop. Don't worry, I'll show you what that is. We'll start off with the chain one, though, because that doesn't count as a stitch. All right, so when you look at a half double crochet, it always has a third loop. So you see right here, you can see the first two loops, plain as day. If you flip it, there's a third loop right back here. See it? Doom. Doom, doom, doom. See that? Some people don't like to work in the third loop, but it creates a very nice texture when you do. So we're going to be working one half double crochet in the third loop of each of these half double crochets. So when you pull them apart, you see that? You can see the third loop is right back there. And that's what, that's what we go into. That's known as the third loop of the half double. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off and yarn over, but you got to flip your work back a little bit here so you can see what you're doing. And half double crochet 
into the third loop. And you want to do that, see it right here, in every stitch. One in every stitch. So you can see my two loops are exposed in the front and when I flip my work, there's the third loop, very visible. It's not hard to find. A lot of people get frustrated with the third loop. It's Trust me, it's not hard. Like I said, when you pull your, your half double right there, you see that you can see it's this loop right back here. So here's your front. So just kind of twist it to the back and there's your third loop. And what I'm going to do is half double crochet in every third loop of the half double crochets from the previous row. Don't be intimidated. Don't be intimidated by the third loop. It's it's very like I said, it's very easy. See, here's the the loops of the front loop, the first two loops of the half double that you would normally go in. But if you just flip it just a little bit on its side, you see that third loop back there. It's very, very easy to get once you get it down. Don't give up on it. You can do it. All right, just keep keep trying. And then you'll see how easy it is. It's just so easy to get that third loop. So I'm going to continue around now for row 10. Working one half double crochet in the third loop of every stitch until I make it back around to my starting point and I still should have 84 stitches when I make it back around you see that nice ridge it makes all right, I'm coming to the end here. We're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first half of double crochet. And we're going to chain one and we're going to start row 11 and we're going to do the same thing that we just did. Working a half double crochet into the third loop of every half double crochet from the previous row. So again, I'll try to show you right here's where we started. See this right there? That's a loop that we have to go in. We got to go in from behind and we're just doing see a half double crochet into that third loop and we're going to do one of those again we're just repeating what we just did in every stitch all the way around it's this round um 11 until we make it back to our starting point All right, made it to the end of round 11. We're going to end by slip stitching into our first half double. In round 12, we're going to do it again, the same thing, okay? So we're going to chain one, and we're going to work a half double crochet into the third loop of every stitch all the way around. We'll do some, something different, maybe, after this. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like, all right? So we're just repeating what we've just been doing. One half double into the third loop of every stitch. See that? Until we make it back around to our starting point. All right, <clears throat> made it to the round 12. So you see we got three ribs going on there. I have to push them up, that last row up a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and end up by slip stitching into our first half double crochet. And now we're going to do another rib, but it's going to be a different one. Round 13, we're going to chain one. And now we're going to do a back post single crochet around every stitch. So this first one right here. We were doing a back post single. So we go from behind and then around the post. And the first one's always the most difficult <laughs> for me, for me, just like that. 
and then we're going to work a back post single crochet in every each one of these half double crochets from the previous row. Now, by doing this, I know that it's creating another ridge. Indeed it is, which it's supposed to. But um, what it's doing is setting our next row up to be set uh, towards the back a bit, if that makes sense. So I'm putting a front post, or I'm, I'm sorry, a back post, single crochet around every stitch all the way around. Now, when you take a quick look, it does put that ridge, it's separate, it's separate from these three ridges. It puts a ridge here, but it's putting a the stitch right here that we're going to be working in is back here. So it's kind of set back a little bit. If that makes any sense, probably not, but <laughs> just go ahead and continue putting one back post single crochet in every stitch until we make it back around to our starting point. All right, so I made it to the end of round 13. So we're going to end by slip stitching. So here's the rib, here's the, uh, it made this ribbing right here, the popping out. But if you flip it back, this is actually the back post single crochet that we worked. So slip stitch into that first one that and then we'll go ahead and start round 14 we're going to chain one we're going to go back into that same stitch and we're going to do a double crochet and now we're just going to work one double crochet in every stitch around now remember we're working in the back here we're working in the top of the uh, back post single crochet from the previous row it just created this ridge back here is the actual stitch so we're just going to go around and we're going to work one double crochet and the top of each of those stitches all the way around and it will make that ribbing more visible just like this all right, so I'll meet back up with you when we make it back around to our starting point. All right, made it around in around 14. We're gonna end with the slip stitch into our first double crochet, and we're just gonna, for round 15, we're gonna re uh, repeat that again. So we're gonna do a double crochet in every stitch all the way around until we make it back to our starting point. So round 15 is this a repeat around 14. One double in every stitch. And I'll be back up with you at the end of our row. All right, so I went ahead and ended round 15 with a slip stitch into my first double crochet. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna repeat what we just did starting with the half double crochet row and then the ribbing rows and the back post uh, single crochet row so around 16 we're going to chain one and we are going to work one half double crochet in every stitch all the way around until we make it back around to our starting point All right made it to the end here and with the slip stitch into your first half double round 17 is going to be the chain one and it's going to be the half double crochet in the third loop of the half double crochet from the previous row Oh, just gonna work around just like we did before, working a half double crochet in the third loop 
of the previous half double crochet. So this is round 17 that we're on. We want to do this until we have three loops right here. All right. It's just half double crochets in the back loop. And when you make it around, you just do it again, half double crochet into the back loop. And when you make it around, you do it again, half double crochet, I'm sorry, in the third loop, third loop back there, because that's what that's what's creating that ridge. All right. So I'm going to continue this until I have these three ribs here that are really close together. All right. And that's when I will meet back up with you. All right. So I got my three rows of ribbing here. So I just finished out round 19 of, and that was half double crochet um, in the third loop. Now, round 20, we're going to make this uh, thicker ridge that sticks out. So that is where we do the back post single crochet. So we're going to chain one and we're going to do a back post single crochet. First one's always the hardest one. For me anyways all right around every stitch and so we make it back to our starting point and now remember this is creating a ridge um, that sticks out a bit farther than the ones that we just created but it also is making a uh, row set towards the back which we talked about before when we did it. So round 20 is one front, I'm sorry, one back post, one back post, single crochet in every single stitch all the way around until we get back to our starting point. Do that. So you can see it sets out just a bit more. These are more flat and this is where we'll be working our final rows up here. All right. All right. Let me back up with you at the beginning. All right. So I ended round 20 by slip stitching back here into my first front or back post, back post, back post single crochet. Now this is the end of the line. Now um, we're just going to do rows of single crochet. Now you can do as many as you want. I'm going to chain one, go back into that same stitch. Remember we're working um, in the ridge that's offset and put a single crochet and I want to work around and I want to put one single crochet in every stitch around leaving that uh, ridge that's in the front open remember we're working back here now since this is going to be the brim you can try your hat on you might want not even want any rows of single crochet. Actually, you could have stopped right then if you wanted to. Or you might want five rows of single crochet. It really depends on how you like your hats to look. You want it to be, I like mine a little bit lower on my eyes. Um, so I'll have to try it on. I'll say I'll probably do maybe two rows of single crochet. Um, say you want a slouchy, you could do like, I don't know five or six rows of single crochet and make your hat a bit more slouchy in the back. You know, it's up to you. The choice is yours. However you want your hat to fit, that's how many rows of single crochet you do. And like I said, if you tried it on um, after that last row and you don't want any rows of single crochet, leave them off. Leave them off. Like I said, it's your hat, not mine. We make this to our likings. I make mine how I like it, and you make yours how you like it, right? Because you're wearing it, not me. So I'm going to continue around one single crochet in every stitch, and then I would say I'll probably do one more. Not certain, 
but I'll let you know how many rows of single crochet here I do in my brim. This is my um, first row of single crochet on the brim or my 21st row of the hat, if I count it correctly. I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty certain it is. All right, so yes, I did two rows of single crochet on my brim and then I just slip stitch and hid my tail. Remember, you can do no rows of single crochet or you can do 10 rows. It's really up to you. Doesn't matter however long you want your hat. If you want it more slouchy, it's completely up to you. So um, this is what we got. We kind of got our three rows here stuck together where we worked in that third loop. And then we got the uh, rib that sticks out more. Did a little double crochet to try to match the top. Not a fan of that, but you know. And then we repeated it down into our brim. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe. I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tutorials all free for you to enjoy. Please don't forget to check them out. You'll find a link below in the description box. Hit that like button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.